Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Edward and on Instagram, I go by Trail Ready Foreigner. Welcome. In this video, we came out up to 395. We're in between Troy Meadows and Kennedy Meadows at this awesome location. It's super big. I think we can fit 30 vehicles plus. It's a big, big spot and I'll show you guys around. Let's go. Hello world, wake me up to another good, good morning time to go. smile upon my face cause there's excitement in the chase this I know yeah I'm going for the ride and by myself I am alive and I saw still I run towards the wind and let the challenge draw me in cause I want more So I normally don't give locations out on my videos just to kind of stop that geotag mentality. But if you guys haven't been up here, it's a definitely must. Like this place is so beautiful. My brother's super excited to be here. He's actually pretty upset that he's late to the game, but he's happy that he's now joining me and stuff like this, but you need to check this out. Man, the first night was a blast. Even though it got down to about 16 degrees Fahrenheit, we stayed up all night catching up and watching the stars go by. The next morning started off really slow, but for breakfast, we ended up eating bagels, bananas, papaya, and a cup of coffee. Once the food settled, we decided to go on a small hike to get a higher vantage point to check out the meadow that we were camping in.
We reached one of the highest points and the view was breathtaking. I kept telling my brother that for some reason these photos and videos I was taking wasn't capturing how beautiful this place was. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this, but sometimes it's hard to capture all the emotions you go through when looking at something so spectacular. We ended up coming back right after sunset, so we decided to start cooking dinner. We ended up making some carne asada, jalapenos, and some ramen to go along with it. The ramen was perfect. You can't go wrong with warm soup on a cold night of camping. We're both terrible cooks, but this ramen out of the bag hit the spot. All right, guys, I wanted to show you guys how we camp during the winter. So, as you can see, I put the annex up on the tent. I normally leave the propane outside. Come in. So right now, I have the tent heating up before we go to bed. And I put it on these wolf pack boxes from Front Runner to elevate it a little bit. And what happens is, since heat rises, Heat will go up and then we leave that door open so that heat can travel inside. Excuse the mess, but we have two sleepy bags, a comforter, there's the other sleeping bag. I also have a carbon monoxide uh, alarm right here at the foot of the bed, just in case. I also crack uh, the windows and there's also vents on the, the top corners. I mean, I've done this for probably three years now. The alarm has never gone off and I haven't had any issues. Um, I wish we had better sleeping bags. The ones that we do have, I believe are 
They're from REI and they're only 40 degree sleeping bag. So they're not the best for winter, but the heater does help. What I do wanna maybe check out is like a sleeping bag blanket. I've seen them online and they look pretty cool. So probably a must when camping in winter, but we'll see. Check it out guys, it's so cold. Oh, my breath, <laughs> look at our water. It's freezing. It's cold. It got down to about, the lowest was about 16 degrees, which I know for some of you guys isn't that cold. Um, but yeah, it was pretty chilly. Uh, we had the heater on most of the night and then around three o'clock, I turned that thing on high because it was really, really cold in the tent. Um, as you guys saw my sleeping bag isn't rated for this temperature. So I need to definitely upgrade. <laughs> But this place is amazing, guys. If you guys haven't been up in this area, I definitely recommend it. There's a lot of OHV um, trails and a lot of um, dispersed camping. <clears throat> and I just used uh, Google Maps to kind of see if I can find camp locations. And then um, Onyx Off-Road. I use that to look to see if there's any like side trails we can take to see if there are any like empty spots like this. And we had no idea when we were gonna come up where we were gonna stay. We kind of just came up and then winged it, but we found this awesome location. It seems like this place gets really busy though because there's, there's multiple camp spots. So ours is over there. And then there's another spot over here with the fire pit. And I believe another one like out that way. So I'm pretty sure this place gets really busy. Um, but we got lucky there's nobody here. So I'm not sure if you guys seen my other video where I take my brother camping for the first time. In that video, we go to Big Bear and he really, really enjoyed it. So we planned this trip to come out to up the 395 we were going to stay towards Kennedy Meadows, but we weren't really liking the terrain. It's more of a desert kind of scene. So we decided to drive up towards Troy Meadow, which is perfect. We got big pines. There's large mountains. It's just I personally my ideal spot. It's beautiful. I guess I didn't give you guys context on why the drone crashed, but I had about 47% battery on it. So I decided to take it up to get some last minute B-roll and drone footage. And all of a sudden it went up and it started beeping low battery. So I started bringing it down really quickly and it was probably about two stories high and it just straight cut out and just fell to the ground. So I'm gonna have to try to get that fixed. I don't know how much it's gonna cost, but it happens.
I really appreciate you guys watching the whole video. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on my next trip. Peace out. Damn.